No equipment needed today. We are doing a class all about spinal extension and lengthening, opening the chest, strengthening the core, strengthening the upper body. But really what I designed this class to be is a little counterpoint to all the time we spend at our computers. I don't know about you, I feel like my posture has really gone downhill in the last year and a half or so from being at my computer so much more than ever before. So a little counterpoint to that, opening the chest, strengthening the core, strengthening the back body. It'll be quick, it'll be, again, no equipment, and join me here in a seated position. Crossing the legs, however it feels comfortable for you, just take a moment here and really ground down to the sits bones. So you push down to the sits bones and grow really tall to the spine. Take a big inhale as you lift the shoulders up. And then exhale, round them down the back. Do that one more time. Inhale, lift the shoulders high. Exhale, round them down. Now keep the shoulders down. Keep the chest lifted, but see if you can push the sits bones down. Inhale. And then exhale, feel the sides of the waist hug in. Feel that deep core strength. Beautiful. Take your left hand, stretch up and over, big side stretch. Now stay lifted up and over here. Just use your exhale to rotate the torso down towards the floor. Inhale, open back up to me. And then exhale, sit up. Other side. Inhale. Exhale, rotate the chest, keeping the hips anchored. Inhale, open to me. Exhale, rise up. Do that one more time each time. Big breath in. You stretch over with the left hand. Rotate the chest down. Inhale to open, exhale up. Last one, inhale, right hand high. Exhale, twist. Inhale, open. Exhale, rise up. Stay in this cross leg position. Just switch the cross of your legs to stay even. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, twist, left hand to the outside of the right knee. Sit up really tall here. Notice if you start to slouch and round. Open the chest. Push down to the sits bones, anchoring through that left sit bone even more. And use your exhale to twist a little deeper. Now let that right hand lift up. I'm going to bend the arm here just to keep myself in the space, okay? And just circle the elbow or the fingers around, opening up the shoulder. And then gently reverse your circle. <sighs> Inhale, sweep back to center, fingertips stretch up. Switch sides, exhale, right hand to the outside of the left knee. Sit really tall here, draw the core in as you inhale. And then exhale, twist. Left fingers float up, you can bend the elbow if you need to for space. And just circle the arm around. Opening up the chest, the shoulder. And then gently reverse your circle. Big breath in. Exhale. And then inhale, sweep back to center, fingertips high. Exhale, dive over to all fours. So push down through all ten fingers here and find that same alignment in your spine. So you're not rounding the chest and the low back. And you're not dropping the belly down here. Find yourself right at neutral. So you push down through the palms as if you're going to spring up and off the floor. Feel your scapula, your shoulder blades spread wide. Inhale and reach energy out of the crown of the head, out of the tail. Exhale, feel the same my hands on the sides of your waist, just wrapping everything in and up. So the low belly lifts here to help support you. Extend the left fingertips out. Extend the right toes out. Feel that contralateral movement. So left fingers, right toes are reaching and lengthening away from each other. Now inhale, lift arm and leg up. Exhale, lower, tap it down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, keep going. Now as you lift opposite arm and leg here, notice if as you lift, you're letting the belly drop. Really push down to the right palm, pushing the mat away from you. Feel the front low ribs hugging the in every time you lift the arm and leg up. So you're really activating the core here. And then we're starting to fire up through the glutes and of course through the back as well. We're getting a nice opening for the chest. Two more, inhale up, exhale down. Now lift arm and leg up, hold it there. 
reach through the fingers, through the toes in opposition, push down through the left shin, the top of the left foot, and then bring your gaze down towards the mat. So the back of the neck stays really long. From here, lift arm and leg, a little up, a little lift, a little lift, a little lift. So you're absolutely gonna be feeling this in your right glute, and that's great. The glutes are part of the back side of your body here. We're strengthening the back side of the body. We're also opening up through the chest, opening up through the shoulders, finding that softness in the shoulder joints. We'll lift up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Hold that up. Take arm and leg out about six inches and then squeeze everything in. So left arm opens left, right leg opens right and you squeeze everything back to center. Feel how much your core has to work to keep your pelvis stable. That's what we want here. Three more, inhale. Exhale, squeeze, lengthen and lift. Two more, inhale, open. Exhale, squeeze it in. Last one, inhale. Exhale, hold everything in, big breath. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee, round the spine, push them out of the way. Inhale, reach, find neutral on the spine. Exhale, round. Inhale, reach fingers and toes away, lengthen, lengthen. Exhale, spread the shoulder blades wide, lift the belly. Inhale, reach. Exhale, curl, you have two more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, curl. Last one, inhale, reach. Exhale, curl. Now inhale, reach it out. Exhale, bend the knee. Sweep that left hand back and see if you can catch the inside of the foot. If you can't, that's okay. Kick the foot into the hand, or if you can't reach, you're just right here, lifting the chest, extending the fingers back, lifting the toes up. Foot lifts up, heart lifts up, and just let yourself get a nice opening here across the chest and across the right quadricep. Big breath in. Exhale, extend everything long. Tap. Hand down, knee down. Extend that left leg long now. Bring your right hand over to meet your left. And then open up, face me. Extend that left arm high. And then bring the palm to the back of the ear. Now, if you need to come to your forearm here, absolutely do. Please do. I want you to take that top left hip. And I want you to stack it directly over the bottom hip. Feel the obliques lift up. Now, from here, inhale, open the chest. Exhale, from the ribs, you twist, rotating the upper body. Inhale, open. Exhale, rotate. Now you'll notice this is the exact same movement you did in the warm-up. But now you're asking your obliques to stabilize you just a little bit more. So as you twist that left elbow, the left side of the chest down, I want you to feel your right oblique, your right hip lift higher. If this feels too easy, come to a side plank and do the same thing. Exhale. Inhale. Two more. Exhale. Inhale. The last one. Exhale. Inhale. Hold it there. Float that left leg high. Extend the left arm long. Reach as you inhale. Exhale. Pull out the knee. Inhale. Reach. Exhale. Pull. Now again. Drop to your right forearm. If you're starting to feel fatigued in the wrist, please, anytime. This is still gonna be really effective down on the forearm. Inhale, extend your reach to the heel. Exhale, feel that top oblique fire. Now your bottom right oblique is stabilizing your pelvis here. So you're really lifting up through the side body and you're lifting up to that bottom seat as well. Three more, inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Two more, you reach. You squeeze. Last one, it's reach and squeeze. Now take that reach, hold it, lift leg a little bit higher, push them out of the way. Inhale. Exhale, tap both knees down, rise up. Hinge the torso forward, because about 45 degrees. Press the palms together here, taking the hands into fists. Now fly the arms and squeeze them in. Inhale, fly. Exhale, squeeze, yes. Now, as you start to move here, you can always take a minute to shake out your wrist if you need. If you have weights and you wanted to grab them, this would be a great time to use them. I'm not going to use weights here. And the reason I'm not going to use weights is because I really want to focus on activating the mid-back here. 
So as I fly my elbows high, I feel my shoulder blades squeezing towards each other. Really the bottom tips of my shoulder blades squeezing towards each other. And then as I squeeze my hands together, I'm gonna broaden across the chest and almost feel like I'm opening up underneath my armpits here. I'm gonna turn profile so you can see me a little better. Three more, fly, and squeeze. Two more, it's fly, and squeeze. Last one, fly, and squeeze. Now take that fly, hold it, check in with the rib cage. Inhale, exhale, wrap the lower ribs in, hug the little belly in, and then lift the elbows up an inch. Squeeze, squeeze. So feel the lower tips of your shoulder blades wrapping in and down here. Relax your shoulders and feel length through the back of the neck. So no wrinkles in the back of the neck here. Gazes down towards the mat. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Squeeze the elbows in towards the side. I like to open my palms here. You don't have to. Inhale, press the arms overhead, tap the thumbs. Exhale, squeeze the elbows back. Inhale, press. Exhale, squeeze. Now, if this bothers your knees, you can stand up here. You're also more than welcome to roll your mat up if that feels better for you. And squeeze. It's inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Now, as you reach overhead, check with your shoulders. Draw them down the back. So you maintain that distance between your shoulders and your ears. So even though your arms are pressing overhead, your shoulders are not lifting up. Four more, reach. And squeeze. Three more, go reach. And squeeze. Front body stays really strong. Collarbones are nice and wide. Last one, inhale. Hold that squeeze, squeeze the elbows in. Go little squeeze, little squeeze, little squeeze. So almost like you're trying to tug your elbows into your back pockets here. You have a nice squeeze, working the triceps, opening the chest, and again, using your exhale to hug the abdominals in. Go eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, extend the arms behind you. Sweep the arms in front of you, tap the thumbs, this time nice and low. Inhale, sweep them back. Imagine trying to tap the pinkies. You're not gonna be able to, or maybe you are. I'm not able to. Tap the thumbs, tap the pinkies. Tap the thumbs, tap the pinkies. So it's like you're making this little semicircle around your hips here. Now, as you draw the thumbs forward, open the chest more. Keep the chest open but hug the ribs in as you wrap the arms back. Two more, Let's tap the thumbs, squeeze it in. Last one, tap the thumbs. Now palms stay facing the floor, just lift the arms. Go lift the arms, little lift, little lift. Great opportunity to really soften the muscles of the neck here. To feel the shoulders, draw down the back. But then as you draw the shoulders down, notice if you flared out through your ribs. See if you can keep the front body really strong, keep the abdominals drawing in, and elongate through the low spine. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up, draw the pinky fingers in, lengthen the back of the neck, take a big inhale, exhale, lift the arms higher, four, squeeze in for three, lift higher, two, and back to all fours here. This time, right arm extends, left leg extends. Pinky finger rotates down as you push the mat away with that left palm. From here, lift arm and leg up, lower it down. Right arm, left leg, lower it down. Now, as you lift, I want you to notice if you're dropping the left hip. So really find the left hip is staying square towards the mat. As you lift up, you're starting to feel the left seat fire up. Squeeze the left quadricep and really find that your core is lifting as well. So you're not allowing the belly to drop as the legs lift. Take it up. Lower down. Lift it up. Lower down. Four more. As you lift, feel the energy of the right fingers and the left toes reaching away from each other, elongating the spine. Last one. 
Now take arm and leg up, hold it there. Soften that right shoulder back and lift arm and leg. Go a little up, a little lift, a little lift. Here's a great opportunity to push down through the top of the right foot and through the right shin to help lift up through both sides of the pelvis so you're nice and square. Left leg longer, left glute engaged. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Inhale, reach. Exhale, round elbow to knee, press the mat away. Inhale, reach. Exhale, round. Inhale, reach. Exhale, round. Now, as you round, hollow the belly. Lengthen, come to neutral. And then round the spine. So you're not arching, it's a neutral and a round. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale, reach. Exhale, round. Inhale, reach, reach, reach. Bend that back knee, sweep the right arm back. If you can catch your foot, do. If not, just bend the foot and reach towards it. Kick your foot into your hand. Lift the chest, drawing the heart forward, and open up here. Big breath in. Big breath out. Gently extend arm and leg out. Bring everything back to the mat. Extend that right leg now. Sweep the left toes behind you and rotate open to face me. Right arm up to the ceiling, inhale. And then hand can come back behind the head as a little reminder to keep the chest open. Now lift up through that bottom left seat and feel your left side oblique spire, inhale. Now exhale, hips are not gonna move, you're just gonna twist from the ribs. And inhale, open. Exhale, twist. Inhale, open again. If you're looking for a little more challenge today, a little more heat, you can come to a side plank here, absolutely. I'm gonna stay on my knee here, and I'm just gonna really focus on drawing the heel of my hand energetically towards my bottom shin. So everything's drawing and I twist, I lift the hips. Inhale, open. Three more, exhale, lift the hips. Inhale, open. Again, your forearm is a great option here if your wrist is cut. Last one, exhale, twist. Inhale, hold that open. Sweep the fingertips overhead. Lift that right leg. Inhale, reach, reach, reach. Bottom hip lifts higher. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, reach. Exhale, knee to elbow. Keep going. Now as you reach, notice if your top hip starts to roll open to the ceiling. Push down through the bottom shin and the top of that bottom supporting foot. Lift the left hip a little higher, and then really feel this top right side oblique drawing in as you pull elbow to knee. Three more, inhale, exhale, two more. And then last one, inhale, reach. Exhale, pull, now take that reach, hold it, get longer, lift that right leg a little higher. You're here for four, you're here for three, you're here for two, back to all fours. Spread the fingers really wide. Now from here, if you're looking for more challenge, you're welcome to come to a plank. If you wanna join me here on all fours, let's do it. You're gonna tuck your toes, you're gonna to squeeze your elbows in, and then you're gonna shift your shoulders slightly forward of your wrists. With the elbows drawing in, I want you to bend halfway down. Press all the way up, halfway down, and all the way up. So it's chaturanga push-ups here. I'm taking them on all fours because I really want to focus on keeping my collarbones really wide, keeping my shoulder blades nice and stable on my back. It's the lower halfway. Press it up. It's the lower halfway. Four more just like that. Go lower down and press it up. Three more. Take it down. Press it up. Two more. Lower down. Now take it down halfway, roll the shoulders from the ears and just one inch go, little drop, little down. Back of the neck is really long, it's eight, seven, you're down on your belly in four, three, two, all the way down onto the belly. Sweep the arms out to a T-shape here. So arms come out into this T-shape, big toes push down into the mat, Inhale, and as you do that, press your pubic bone down into the mat. Exhale, hug the low belly up. 
Now on this inhale, I want you to rise up. Lift the chest, lift the arms. Exhale, lower. Inhale to rise. Exhale, lower. Now keep going. Another option is to bend your arms into a goal post here, which I'm going to take that option just so I stay in the frame with you. Inhale, rise, lengthen. Exhale, lower. Now a key to spinal extension work is that you really focus less on the up and more on the out. And what I mean when I say that is that you're reaching the crown of the head long out in front of you. And then from there, you take a little lift off the floor. Two more. It's not that you drop your belly and arch up. The last one up and hold it down. Take a moment, big breath. Exhale. Now, if you're not already there, join me with gold post arms here. Inhale, push the pubic bone down, lift the chest, float the elbows up, push down through the big toenails, squeeze the elbows in towards the side. Inhale, extend them overhead. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, extend. You did this kneeling, if you remember, not too long ago. Now, if you're comfortable here, stay here. If you'd like a little more in the glutes, I want you to lift your toes off the mat. Now as the elbows squeeze, squeeze your heels towards each other. Inhale, let them go. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow squeeze, heel squeeze. Inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, push the pubic bone down. Now the back of the neck stays really long, gaze is down towards your mat. Two more, exhale. Inhale, last one, exhale. Inhale, now hold that length. If you need to take a moment to rest, take it. Rotate your thumbs up towards the ceiling. Rotate your inner thighs up towards the ceiling and push the pubic bone down. Ready? You've got this little swim, 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 swim. So it's little kicks with the legs, little beats with the arms. Ideally, you're working in opposition here, but don't worry about that too much. Go 16, 15. Pubic bone down, shoulders soft, core is lifted. It's eight, no holds. Go six, no holds. You're done in four, three, two, and one. Press the palms into the mat. Press up all fours. Inhale. Exhale, round the spine. Uh, and just stay in this rounded position. There's a little counter stretch. So all that extension work you just did. You can sway the hips side to side. Sway the shoulders. Let the head rock side to side. Inhale. Exhale. Now let the belly drop. Let the chest lift. Inhale. Exhale around the spine. One more time. Inhale. Belly drops. Heart lifts. Heels and the hands pull back. Exhale around. Come to your neutral right in the middle. And then gently join you back on a seat right where you started class. Just like you started class here. Push down to the sits bones. Hands to the top of the thighs. Inhale, lift the shoulders. Exhale, round the back. One more time. Inhale, lift the shoulders. Exhale, round the back. Left fingers can stretch up and over. Rotate the chest down. Open up, inhale. Exhale. Other side. Inhale, anchor through the sits bones. Exhale, twist. Inhale, open. Exhale, up one more time each side. Inhale. Exhale. Notice if your range of motion is a little more. Well, maybe it's not. It's okay. Do you feel just a little more tuned in? That's all that really matters, right? That's it. I hope that, that felt fantastic for you. I'm hoping you feel more open in the chest, a little stronger in the back. This is a great practice to come back to you again and again, especially if you find yourself starting to round and hunch at the computer. Just come back to that. Don't be mad at yourself. Just come back to the opening and the strengthening. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you again next week with a full bar beginner class. Have a great day.